Hey guys, it's Mieko Austin, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find your project's FPS rate or frames per second rate, so that way you can fix rendered clips and export your project successfully. <laughs> So you finally finished the project that you've been working so hard on and you tried to export it. So you go to export it, you click next and then save it. And it's saying, do you want to replace it? Cause this is not the first time you tried saving it. And then boom, you get the error message share failed. So you go to details trying to figure out, well, what seems to be the problem? And then you get this error message rendered frame, absolute frame 634 or whatever number tells you and you're like how do i find this frame because imovie does not have a frame counter well after hours of trying to figure out how to find frame 634 i realized that imovie actually saves your entire project as the same fps rate as your first clip so you want to go to your first clip in your project and click on it And you're going to hold down command C to copy it, open up a new project, and then you're going to put command V to paste it. Now we're going to go export this, export, and then we're going to, I like to save my compressor at better quality, so I'm going to change that, hit next. And I'm going to name it. And now let's see. Okay, it's going to export. Great, now it has exported. So now all I need to do is add it to my photos. So once it's in your photos, you need to find it. And here it is. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go to get info right here at the top. This is going to tell me my FPS rate. So it says 29.97 is my FPS rate. So this is important because this is going to help me find the rendered clip that I need to fix. And here's a closer look, 29.97 FPS. And it's also telling me the quality, 1920 by 1080, and etc. So now with this information, I'm going to go on this website. I'll leave the link in, in the description in the bio. But this is a calculator. It converts the frames to time code. So it'll help you find your clip. So they said 634. I'm going to go use that number on this calculator, 634. They're telling me that's at 21 seconds within my project. So next I need to click on OK and I'm going to find the 21 second mark in my project so that way I can see what they're talking about and go fix it. And normally to fix a rendered clip, they don't want anything pixelated or blurry or glitchy. So I'm just going to take off some of the front of here. So let me just click it and then I'm gonna drag it like that okay now I'm going to go back and try to export it and see if they let me since I fixed the clip that they said is rendered so next try this again save replace the one that's already in there because it wasn't the full thing and guys I may sound okay now but let me tell you I was so frustrated like I was trying to figure this out for hours. I was looking on YouTube, searching videos. Like the closest thing I found was this man saying to, you know, right click the right arrow and let your cursor tell you as you count one by one each frame yourself manually. I was looking up like frame counter overlays and everything. But this solution seemed to have worked. As you can see, the exporting process is actually going through. So here we are. Share successful. That's what we want to see. So it says 
share successful exporting trip to Houston one was successful wonderful that's what we've been wanting and been dying for so yes iMovie doesn't like black frames if you're uploading a horizontal video you want to fit that to your screen if it's pixelated low quality you need to fix that trim some edges and then also if you need your frame per second rate I showed you how to find it you want to save it to your photos go to the information get it punch it into that frame to time code converter online find the link in my bio and um, you're all set your project should be ready to go so make sure you guys go subscribe to my page here's the video our finished product that I uploaded to my page you can check it out it's my trip to Houston and yeah I'll see you next time make sure you like subscribe and let me know if this was helpful to you